Well, we've got a much happier Marcus Law with us here this afternoon. Um, it was more about the, the points today than the performance, but you got both really, certainly, certainly in the first half. Yeah, well, I thought um, I thought the first half we played very well, a lot of intensity, uh, some really good decision making uh, and albeit um, some fantastic goalkeeping and defending from the opposition, it could have been a lot more. Um, the the second half was just very controlled, very professional. Uh um, I've got to give credit to St. Neots. They're, they're young, uh, they're learning, and they, you know, they went right to the end and you know, made life. Nothing was ever, ever comfortable in terms of um, you know, going through on goal. Um, threatening it was, was a mean, minimal for them, but you know, fair play to them. And they obviously made that decision as a club, and it's a great experience for them boys. But for us, it was uh, responding again from a poor result from last week, and we've done it. Which is, um, you know, one of the the boxes ticked in terms of um, if you're going to be successful in any season. Uh, so that that was good. Um, we obviously heard the news. Um, one of our best signings in Tom Knowles uh, this year. Um, I think Gary will probably uh, can't wait to see the back of him. In, in all fairness, but that swung in our way. Um, so you know from doom and gloom last week we've just had another you know sort of six point swing again so um yeah it's uh we've got six games left and if we get three over the line then it's job done but they're going to be difficult uh ben mills starting today you've rung in the changes from last week was that purely because the pitch is now firming up and, and allowing him to run about and, and cause a problem yeah i mean ben and gary i thought was excellent first half um ben on the ball you know he's a good decision maker technically he can unlock teams and um yeah we you, the weather's changing uh it's getting drier uh there's um you know we're probably coming more to the sort of uh pitches that suits us you know from when we started the season when it was drier and we got people on the ball and you know Marcus and Gary and Ben um and locking people and making things happen uh and you could see that today um so yeah I'm I'm happy in in the decision making there obviously players want to play every week um but some are more suited to other circumstances and again that's another box ticked in terms of trying to be successful a lot of efforts on goal today. Well, a lot of efforts, full stop. A lot, you know, over the bar. But have you gave the instruction? Maybe just have a few more shots on goal. Certainly, Dan, Dan Holman had a couple of opportunities. Hit the crossbar. Uh, not really. It's, you know, we've got some very, very good players and very experienced players, and generally they make very good decisions. Um, we just needed to be a little bit remotivated. Um, I think last week was just a bit of a slump, a bad day at the office, call it what you like, the weather or frustrations with um, how the game panned out and the opposition. So, you know, fair play to the opposition. But today we went about our business in a different manner. Uh, it worked uh, and we've had the rewards. And uh, yeah, we're now going into two more games in March and um, hopefully we can get positive results. Yep, Lace and Away, the only other team that can do the double on us. Mm-hmm. Biggles Way did that last week. We don't want to have it to happen a second uh, time. Um, yeah, we, we want to try and get uh, get one back maybe. Um, but we're, we're very confident and comfortable away from home. Uh, our record shows that. It'd be difficult. You know, we're there to be shot at. Um, no team wants um, to hand it over to us. And um, uh, we've got to be professional. We've got to have the endeavour. We've got to have the enthusiasm, just like what we did today. And we'll get the result. Finally, Aaron O'Connor's back available for you next weekend. Does he walk straight back in, uh, or you know, don't, you do not fix what's not broke? Uh, well, look, every game has its different um, pros and cons. Uh, Aaron's obviously of a very good standard. Uh, gives us something different. Um, releases different players as well. Um, yeah, it'd be a difficult choice, but we'll, we'll get the report at least, and we'll make our choices, make our decisions. But as again, you know, our lads are very professional. They do. Uh, they do carry out the instructions. They take disappointment really well in terms of um, selection uh, and we get the job done. Congratulations today. Thank you.